Hello everyone and welcome to part two of my Altair from Recreators walkthrough. Of course, if you haven't seen part one, there will be a link in the description. Of course, although my walkthrough is costume specific, there's always new techniques and new tricks you can learn and apply to other costumes as well. So even if you're not building this exact costume, there's always something you can learn. Starting with the wig. I decided to add wefts to add thickness, and since the hair would stay mostly down, I just glued them in using hot glue, but usually you would sew these in. Next I moved on to the bangs. I clipped the hair away and then separated the tops of the bangs to use later. I sprayed some got to be hairspray on the bangs and teased the hair to add volume. Once I teased it all, I used more hairspray and set it into place with a hairdryer. Then I used the clean hair I clipped away earlier to add a smooth top layer. I sprayed it again and set it. I trimmed the sides and repeated the same process. Next was the hat. I cut a piece of newsprint and started to sketch. I marked where the pigtails would be and cut semicircles for them to fit. I transferred the pattern to foam and glued the ends shut. I put it on the head to get the general shape and traced the top. I used the same pattern and added a seam allowance for the fabric cover. I used the same fabric as a skirt and jacket. I tried it on to make sure the size was right, then I moved on to gluing the inside. I cut out of foam some details that would go on top of the hat. I drew on where the detailing would be and used a wood burner to burn them in. Next was the neck. I put masking tape over the existing collar and sketched where the armor piece would be. I trimmed my pattern and transferred it to foam. I took the same pattern and traced where the detail would be. For the circle, I used a stencil. I made sure the size was right and glued it on. I repeated the same process for the other parts. Next was the spurs. On past costumes, I've had real spurs, but for this one, I wanted to make some that looked a bit different. I sandwiched some craft foam with warbler and stuck a screw through the end for strength. I again sandwiched some foam and warbler for the end pieces. I carefully cut along the edge. I covered the screw in scrap warbler and used as a base for the rounded pieces to stick on. For the detail brackets, I used three layers of warbler cut down into strips. For the rivets, I used scrap warbler and rolled them with my fingers. Next was my bracers. I made a cylinder and traced where my detail would go. I stacked two layers of foam and sanded the edges clean. I shaped and glued all the other pieces of detailing to the bracer using contact cement. I traced on everywhere I would need to wood burn and carefully burn the lines in. The first of the props I worked on was the PPSH. I drew a pattern and printed it out. I traced the stock onto some foam and cut it out with a sharp X-Acto. I cut it out three times for the desired thickness and cut away foam for the dowel. I used a thinner foam for the barrel and carefully glued them together as straight as possible. The drum was a simple two circles connected by a wider strip of foam. The space left at the top was the same thickness as the body. I sanded away the seams as cleanly as possible and used heat to open up detail. Sometimes, super glue is a better solution than contact cement to glue on smaller details. Smaller pieces were made the same way, and more detail was burned in. I used quick seal to make sure all the seams and gaps would be filled. Next was the sword. I cut two layers and sanded a groove for a rod. All parts were glued together and sanded smooth. For the sculpted detailing, I used foam clay but you can also achieve this by using regular foam. Now on to painting. All pieces were primed with Plasti Dip and base coated with spray paint. Some acrylic hand painting on the neck piece. For a more brushed metal look on the bracers, I used a semi-opaque silver. The same thing was done on the black base for the PPSH. For the wood texture, I mixed multiple shades of brown and put them all on the same brush. When I painted it on, all the shades showed up as a sort of wood grain texture. For shading, I used oil paint. For anything gold, I used brown. Once all the cracks were filled, I wiped the excess with a Scott towel. 
Then I added additional shading and smudged it out. For anything else, I used black oil paint. I used a glue gun to glue the detail onto the hat. For the shoe covers, I glued toolbox lining to the base to avoid slipping. Thank you so much for watching. I finished this costume on time for a convention called Geek It Con in Montreal. I entered the costume in a contest and um, to my surprise, I actually placed first in the contest. So thank you guys for all your support. Thank you for believing in me and helping me, of course, believe in myself. It was an amazing experience and I do plan on wearing her again to other conventions. Thank you again so much. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, be sure to check out my website, suspiciousTumbleweed.com. All links are in the description to my website and other social media. On my website, you can find past projects such as commissions, personal projects, as well as a store where you can get prints, props, and soon apparel, hopefully. So of course, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more content. I'm definitely going to try to post more complete build videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching.